Well, that's where you got to look at it. Friends say hockey phenomenon Mark Sertich was a force to be reckoned with. He did not want other people to do things for him. Even at the age of 99, he did everything himself. The way he kept himself fit and clean and kept his house clean, he, kept, he, you know, he lived independently. He was a real go-getter, says good friend and retired Duluth firefighter Dane Youngbloom. The two played in a hockey league together right up to the end. He really liked to play hockey as a competitive sport, you know, he wanted to score. It's, it's such a great game. Youngbloom says even when they first met, Sertich at age 70 had a passion for hockey that couldn't keep him off the bench. Mark uh, just showed up one day at the rink and he asked if he could play with us because he was looking for more ice time. Seemed like a nice guy, so we welcomed him in. Go, go, go. And that's when the start of a 30-year-old friendship yeah, it, began. You know, it was a small part of his life, but it was a bigger part of my life, you know. It's... Sertich made his last goal Monday morning after complications with medical issues. He just died peacefully at home. Uh, he had his family around him. Youngbloom recalls one of the last times he got to her. celebrate a milestone with Sertich at his birthday party last month. So we organized a drive-by and to surprise him. <laughs> and we got his family to get him out on his front porch, and then we came by with uh, fire trucks and ambulances. And though Youngbloom says Sertich would have loved to make it to 100, he knows he's happy now that he's with his late wife. Ago, they were very close, and uh, he, he did want to go be with her. So. And that Sertich is proud of the life he lived on and off the ice. I've uh, enjoyed my life in Duluth here. It's been a wonderful place to live and grow up and uh, raise a family. And uh, hopefully as of now, there are no plans for a funeral. Friends and family plan to celebrate what would have been Sertich's 100th birthday next July. We'll keep you posted on those details.